Hey, girls and boys, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Uh, very excited to be talking with you again about math and place value. Um, so, yesterday we had some big numbers up into the hundred thousands place. Which number was the largest yesterday? Was it our first number or our second number? Second number, right? That was pretty easy. 985,221. It's bigger than 866,000 or even bigger than 628,000. There's only one place value you even need to look at, right? Where does the, oh, there's only one place you need to look at in these two numbers. It's the hundred thousands place. Because if that nine is bigger than that six, you already know it's bigger, right? <clears throat> this nine is bigger than that eight. Okay, so take out your charts and let's get rolling. Today, we are going into the millions place because we are going, let me go back for a second, we are going to roll it seven times, seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Okay, so here we go. We are trying to make the largest number. Okay, so remember, careful where you place it. And once you place it, you can't move it. All right, no cheating. Okay, here we go. Let's start rolling and roll. Okay, one. All right, I'm not going to show mine until the very end, okay? Don't worry, I'm not cheating, I promise. Okay, let's roll it again. Pick your one where you think it should go. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Ooh, a nine. A nine. What color should I use for? What is this? Okay, put my nine down. All right. Next number, and we have a five. Okay, see where you want to put your five. Okay, I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna do a, oh, seven. Okay, put your seven where you think it should go. All right, I'm gonna roll again. All right, so let's roll it. And it's a six. Ooh, it's a six. Okay. Oh, bother. That's not going to be good for me. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's roll it again. What do we got? Oh, it's a four. All right, not bad. I'm not doing too badly. How are you guys doing? Do you still have a chance to get the highest number possible? All right, let's do it. Last roll. Come on, please. Roll it. Nine again. Oh, I was so close. All right, so let's take a look at what I did. Let's see how you did. So here's my number. I was close to making the biggest one. I had my 997. If my six and my five were swapped, I would have had the biggest number. So what, what, what number do I have written down here? What's that number? What's my number? Can you say it out loud or to your into your to your head? <clears throat> so I would say it like this. I would say nine million, because that's the we're in the millions period now, okay? So nine million. Now what number is in the thousands period? It's nine hundred seventy-five. So I have nine million nine hundred seventy-five thousand six hundred forty-one. Okay, we don't say six hundred and forty-one, just six hundred forty-one. All right, and then, um, and then we uh, don't say the ones, okay? All right, so let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Get ready. This oh, boys and girls, this time I'm throwing a monkey wrench into the into the works. You are gonna try and make the smallest number possible, smallest. So not the largest, smallest. So that changes your whole strategy, okay? All right, here we go. All right, cassette. I'm gonna roll it seven times. Go. Nope, not ten. We can't use ten. All right, we got a three. Remember, we're doing the smallest number, not the largest. We're trying to make as small a number as you possibly can. Okay, let's roll it again. Six. Hmm. Remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause it. Nope, not ten. Three. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Oh no, I have to forget that. 
If you if you uh, make a mistake, it's okay. I, didn't, I was thinking largest, so you wanted to make you want to make smallest. I'm gonna put that three here. Okay, let's keep going. All right, two. Okay, remember smallest number you can possibly make. Oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna make the smallest. It's too many small numbers. Six. All right, we still have a chance here. Six. Okay, six. What's next? Come on, four. All right, good. Remember, smallest number. <clears throat> I need a six, seven, or an eight, or a nine. Come on, come on. Oh, not a one. So that last one was a one. So if you still had your millions place open, then you could have put the one there and you would have maybe the smallest number. So I did not make the smallest number. Um, but I did make a number. What number did I make? What number did I? What's the number that I made here? Can you read it aloud? Read it aloud to yourself. Okay, so you should say two million, right? We're in the millions place, okay? 334,661. Okay, so what would have been the smallest number if we made it? That would have been, can you write it down? Write it down what you think. Pause it and write it down. I'll do the same thing. Are you getting what I'm getting? I had to cram it in there. So I would have, the smallest number possible would be 1,000,000. Two hundred thirty-three thousand four hundred sixty-six. It's like the opposite of the largest. Okay. All right. So if we're looking at our um, Thursday place value organizer, mine doesn't say Thursday, but yours should. Okay. Um, let's write down. <clears throat> let's write down the smallest number today. So we had one million two hundred. 33,466. Okay, so you want to write that in, let me move this out of the way, uh, word form, right, expanded form, 10,000 more, 1,000 less, and this time the value of the digit in the thousands place, and the value of the digit in the millions place. Okay, so we'll do that one together. The millions place, there's a one. But the value is one million. Okay? All right. Great job. Fun as always. Tomorrow's our last time playing this game this week. So let's have fun, and I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.